Boom! Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. I'm located. I don't even know where I'm located, Nick. This is not Stranger. This is Sunshine <laughs> State RVs. In of course. Gainesville, Florida. And this is Nick Schmidt. Yes. He's gonna say later that I didn't intro him, but no, I like it when you let me do the intro. <laughs> when you let me do the whole thing, yeah. that's that was fun. Right. Yeah, we're not doing that again. <laughs> so today we're talking about a van that I think is really cool. Yep, I actually got very a, unique. I got a sneak peek of this already. Yep. It's the Winnebago Solus 59P with the National Park Foundation package. Right, NPF. That, I think you saw this before I did. Yes, I did, Nick. How does that work? Because you know I'm uh, I'm enterprising. I'm one of the to top Winnebago dealers in the country, <laughs> and I didn't see this until after so, you saw it. That's this is true, this but this is not fair. But you know what? The video, that video was cool. It was really short. It's not going to be as good as this one, Nick. Yes. Because both of us are going to be here. We're going to get very detailed into the national park. We're going to show you guys all the details, all the fun stuff, right? I'm in. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, let's do not? it. <laughs> This is a 2023. This okay. is. This is a 2023 Winnebago Solus. It's a 59P. So the Soluses make three different floor plans. They make a pocket, which is about 17 feet. They make a P, which is 19 feet. And they make the PX, which is 21 feet. So they make all three different ones in the Solus. It's a great line of small ProMaster RVs that Winnebago makes. This is the middle one. So you know if you have the Papa Bear, the mama bear and the baby bear. <laughs> yes. This is the mama bear version of it. This is the 59P. This particular one does not have a pop top. They do make it with the optional pop top. So the pop top gives you sleeping for four. This one has sleeping for three. It has sleeping in the front with like their fancy bed they give you. Mm -hmm. And then it has sleeping for two in the back. Okay. So we'll check that out as we walk in. Right. This, and I know people, there's people when we do these videos, because we've done a few with, yeah. you know, there's always the pop top, no pop top Correct. conversation. Who do you find likes the pop top and who doesn't? So what I've found who likes the pop top are grandparents who like to take their grandkids a lot mm -hmm. and they have sleeping for two for them. And when they don't have their grandkids with them, the pop top is down. You don't even know you have it there. Mm -hmm. It's great. The other one, I sold one the other day to, to a parent with two kids and they just want to go places on the weekends. So it's just it's a 19 foot RV, you can stick it in your garage, you can stick it in your driveway, you have your kids, you leave on Friday, come back Sunday night. And yeah. it's just the kids sleep up top, parents sleep down below, and, and, it's, and it's cheaper than most big SUVs if you even want to use it as an everyday car, you know? I mean, yeah. th there's, there's just all different types of you know, ways that you can use something like this. But the pop tops are kind of new, you know? Last couple years, they've kind of been gaining some momentum. Road yeah. Trek makes a good one, Winnebago makes one. You know, what I really like about this is it's very complete. Yeah. I feel like someone could actually buy this and just get out on the road. We have this conversation all the time. Mm -hmm. Not everyone that builds these makes them really complete for the buyer that they can really just jump in there yeah. and go, right? So I want to make sure I show folks yeah, all that awesomeness that makes it complete. And then plus, since we're outside, this is the new chassis, This right? is, yeah. Okay. So this is a brand new 2022 mm -hmm. ProMaster chassis. I get yelled at for saying Dodge. To me, it's a Dodge Ram. <laughs> right. It's a Ram ProMaster. There's all that terminology. All right, whatever you want to call Stellantis. it. Remember Stellantis. Remember I told you? Did you find out about Stellantis I yet? did. It's okay. Stellantis. I don't even know. It's a Ram ProMaster. <laughs> I think I was um, saying Starlantis. <laughs> <laughs> so what's cool about it is they're up to a nine-speed transmission, electric power steering. So that does, that gives you much, much better turning radius mm -hmm. to where you know if you're in a tight spot you need to turn instead of making all these different u-turns you can turn really easy with the power steering mm -hmm. with the electric power steering mm -hmm. um, it gives you push button start gives you all this all these safety features it's cross wind detection mm -hmm. blind spot assist adaptive cruise is on the bigger ones not on the smaller ones they've updated their whole nav screen their whole and we'll show you when you get in there everything's digital it's like one big screen in there now so cell phone chargers usb ports everywhere lots of cool safety it's like a collision detection this is gas powered this is front wheel drive front wheel drive obviously the engine's up front about 20 it is up front hang yeah. i don't know would it be in the back I very mean. well i mean so the thing the thing about that is you got your engine you know yep. right over the wheels that it's actually getting power to yeah and it's a lot of fun to drive it's 
Yeah. You know, probably the easiest one to drive. I drive a minivan since I have four kids, so okay. I don't I don't get to have fun driving like you do, Hank, and your mm -hmm. Audi and your Teslas and all your supercars that you have. You you really I'll, you drive a minivan? I, dude, I got four kids, man. <laughs> I mean, what, what 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 else you expect me to drive? Yeah, it's cool minivans. <laughs> but yeah. The new chassis is phenomenal. We've had so many people trading in, mm -hmm. trading up from, from an older chassis to these new ProMaster chassis. Right. I mean, very smooth. That nine-speed transmission makes all the difference in the world. I mean, I've driven them both side by side, and you can you can obviously tell a difference. Between I also the like push-button start. Isn't it Drake that says he only drives yeah. the cars? Yeah. I don't, what is it? He doesn't drive anything. He has to put the keys in. That's it. That's there it. you go. Only push-button start. I know you also told me there's people who like the older one because well, you want to save some bucks. $10,000 difference. Okay. I mean, well. <laughs> you got to pay to play, Hank. I'm in. <laughs> so, yes. I will turn, put that key in and turn it. <laughs> and deal with a seven-speed chance or six-speed. I don't even know how many speeds yeah. the old one is. Yeah. Actually, but, I like a push start. I like a push start. But What's cool is they haven't really changed the front much. So they haven't yeah. changed anything on the outside much. Yeah. It does look the same, so it kind of gives you that same look. You know, they've kind of dulled this down some instead of having it be shiny, which which I kind of like. Oh, that's yeah, um, that's kind of color coordinated. Yeah, there, just that. Yeah, so like if you look at one of the other ones over here, you see how it's like like a chrome, yeah, shiny that, look. Yeah, that one. Let's hey. see if we can zoom in. Boom. Got chrome, you no see chrome. A cool front bumper, hey? Yes. Check this thing out right here. This can is can a, I get one of these? This is a Revel uh, with a, a winch. winch. <laughs> Look at this thing. I mean, this is a winch, twelve thousand yeah, pounds, light. whatever it is. Light LED. Yeah. This is a this is the sweetest bumper. Yeah. So we upgrade these, Hank. These Revels. We take that junky Mercedes bumper off and we put this huge. There's all these lights in here. Yeah, this and, is from Backwoods Outdoor. Isn't models, that awesome? Something like that. Yeah. So I know that's not what the video's on, but yeah, I just want to no, show that you. That was cool. I'm gonna see a bunch of those. I'm going to be going to uh, Overland East. Ah. I'm going to see a bunch of these. Including, I'm going to see these guys. There you go. Yes. So, they Backwoods does good stuff. They do. So, I can know. I do that? Can I do that on this you since can. you brought it up? Yeah. Oh, yep. so if I buy this and I want a bumper. If you buy this and you want a bumper, we can get you a bumper. We can get you a rear bumper, a ladder. We can get you new roof racks. I mean, there's uh, there's lots of... Yeah. We've, we have been modifying the heck out of these things. Yeah. The rims but, you don't have to modify, Nick. So, Guess why? Because they're already modified. <laughs> this is what comes with the National Park uh -huh. additions. Mm -hmm. One of the cool things is these rims and BF Goodrich tires come standard yeah. on the National Park. These are the method rims, which I have on my van, and they're, they're very sweet. cool. Yes, yeah. very cool. That's what we buy. These are the same ones we buy to upgrade... Um, Whoever wants upgraded rims on a ProMaster, that's what we buy for them. Oh, okay. Oh, you um, go with Method. Okay, it also cool. comes with a cool graphics package. Yes, very nice. So the graphics package is unique to the National Park. And look at that up there. So it's got the it says National, National Park, Park on it, it so does. you can flex on so they all make the a donation people. to the National Park every time um, someone buys one of these. Something else that's just a minor little detail. Mm -hmm. On every other Winnebago, this is like a shiny silver. Yeah, on the National out. Park, nice. it's blacked out. Yeah. Can you see that good on there? Yeah. Yeah, go real cool. close. There yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah. I There's lots was... of Winnebago all over. There's Winnebago right there, the W. There's another Winnebago right there. They're, they're everywhere. They're I everywhere. think Winnebago should put a W on you. I don't know if I'm. <laughs> well, if I was like a golfer, that I, I could wear. They could do it. Let me open this yeah. Thing. So here there. we're going to the. Uh, there we go. Two fingers. Yeah. So, so here's your cassette going toilet. around the outside, this is a cassette toilet. So this is something that every Solus has mm -hmm. is a cassette toilet. They didn't do any with black tanks or any of that. So the cassette toilet is actually really easy. Once you press the two buttons and you get it open, there's a little lever right here. Mm -hmm. And you pull it, right? Yep. Very gentle. Very gentle. Very yep. gentle. Yeah, if that's full. Lay it down if it's full. A couple things. If you need to, to transport it, you can. It has wheels. Um, for you to transport, if you don't need to transport it, you just do this, you unscrew the top, and you just dump it wherever you like. Yeah. And everything dumps, and you can you, flush it. Are you, mm -hmm. are you finding that the, the folks buying vans from you really like this? What do you think? I know you said like everyone's different. So. Everyone's different. You know, yeah. a lot of it depends on where you camp. So mm -hmm. if you camp in a campground all the time, you don't need that. Right. Because you, you just hook right up. If you camp in the national parks, mm -hmm. this this is great. Because yeah. you, you can dump, you can dig a hole, Dump it, you know, yeah. people, I mean, you're allowed to do that, right? Uh, I don't know, Nick. <laughs> I don't know. But I know that you can wheel that out and put Seems it like to me you're allowed to dig a hole and dump it. <laughs> I guess, yeah. You, I, I, don't I don't know the shovel in there with it, but. <laughs> you have a shovel on the back of your coach? Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't know why, but you have one. Some places you go, you do have to have a shovel, like you're saying. But I'm guessing, you know, with you this, you can, wheel it, yeah, you can wheel that anywhere, wheel dump it anywhere, out. Yep. Yeah, do yeah, wheel it anywhere, you sanitize it. Or dig a hole, as Nick is saying. So it has a thing in here where you. 
kind of wake everything up in there. Oh, so you can stir it up? <laughs> stir it up. Stir now. it up. So there's a way to open this thing here to where, oh, there you go, there you like go. that. Just like yeah. that. And you can kind of go like you go to the airport. Imagine if I walked through the airport with this thing. What would people say to me? I would pay good money to see you walking through the airport. So anyways, if you need to haul it somewhere, you can haul it. Yeah. And then slide that thing back down, yeah. stick it back in there. I mean, there are people who really love these. So when I do these videos, there's Look. people who like, I only want that. And then yeah. there's people who say, I only want a regular bathroom. 100%. Yeah. So then you can lock it so no one steals your crap. Right. Um, <laughs> there is a gray tank. Oh, that's all, okay. That's all on this side. So yep. the gray tank is there. That is, that is for your sink and all that. So you Boom. can access that. Let me give it a right chance there. to, yeah. okay, there you go, yep. Light's a little funky. Yeah, well, cause you know, we're on the road, but I, we can see it there. And then you do have your Truma. So there is heat on board this, there right? There is, yes. Yeah. So what else is cool uh, is this is this this is the 30 amp power plug. It screws in there, it lights up when you, when you have power. Mm -hmm. So nice power plug. Um, there again, check this out. I, this is really unique. So really ni nice graphics package. I like it. None of the other Winnebago's have graphics packages. This is the only one that comes with it. A couple years ago, they did a National Park Foundation for the Travados. Mm -hmm. They only released like a hundred of them, and they had some cool colors and packages and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of the same. This I think they're going to do a couple hundred of these. Okay. Um, they haven't exactly said how many. Do they? Um, do they? Um retain their value because it's a national park yeah. edition yeah okay. because it's limited because okay. it's, it's cooler than everything else yeah. they do you know something else that's that is pretty cool is is this stuff here so check this out so this whoop, they they kind of put like some cool logos and you yeah. know these are built this, in they got you know some cool yeah. stuff here there's there's some cool this stuff is what i was front. saying about winnebago that i like winnebago in general right not just on this one obviously you've got so, you've got some patterns in here because it's a national park but the fact you you know this is my pet peeve right yes, i do <laughs> i can see that look on your you face need window i'm about to rent and... i hate that people make these vans and then they make you have to go find this stuff yeah i hear you so congratulations, Winnebago. There you go. You win the award for actually putting window treatments in there because you know it's too tough for anyone else to think about that. I uh, <laughs> I think these are pretty unique. So yeah. this is part of the national park package here. So this is cool. You know they do this a lot where, where they give you these. What are these things called? All these hooks. And then, um, this this is Molly, but there's actually a Molly panel behind here too. Yeah. I don't know how to get yeah if you flip it up, you can kind of see. Bam. There you go. So nice little Molly panel on there. You've got a Molly pack that you could put, I guess, spatulas and Stuff. all your accoutrement. And then in. here is your screen. There is a screen. rear screen here that goes up and down. But but this is neat. So yeah. what this is, this this has storage here. Mm -hmm. And I don't check that out. They kind of laser etched uh, Solus out of yeah. that. I thought it was pretty cool. So this is another Logan. thing. I think that you, you typically get uh, this storage space back here. You do. But what you don't get is these drawers typically. And yep. this is awesome. So yeah. do we have to push them? I think we have to push them both yep. down if you yep. want to demo. Push them both down just like this. Down. This is cool. Slide. There you look at that. And it locks them. Boom! I, I love that. Like, I like the brand. I think Winnebago does a great job in branding. Yeah. Yeah, really, kudos to them for this. I like I like this added there. So those can come out. Something else pretty cool. They give you a, a little Winnebago. Check a little that out. sink. little sink. You little yeah. drain right there. It fits perfect. That's nice. There. And when uh, this done, doesn't come with it, but, you know, you can obviously store. If you have Corey close by, he always has one of these. Yeah, he always has a stove. So this is a stove. It fits right here perfect. And if you just want to have it down, you can do that as well. Yeah. And then you just, just you can just remove that and slide it in. Yeah. Um. You probably once you push your yep, things I, down. Yeah. So you just push both these things out like that. There you go. There yeah, you that's go. awesome because you are gonna get out back here and cook, and yeah. you can have all your stuff right. I love that, man. Yeah. I like. You know, Winnebago really encourages you to live life outside the RV because yeah. there's so much you can do out here. In there is for sleeping and bathroom stuff. Out here is for why you're RVing. Yeah. Enjoying God's creation. You know. Yeah. Something else that's neat is this this is, this is magic this? are you going to give us a full demo an annex room yep yeah, oh is, look at that look at that right there that thing goes in there somehow we don't need it right now and then anyways there's a curtain that hangs there's, yeah and the curtain here hangs to give you privacy to change right or check this out 
you can't do this. This you can goes up, yeah. right here. And then you can shower. Yeah. Shower yourself down. Shower yourself with your cover here. Yep. You can stay clothed. You don't have to be clothed, but it comes with all this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can stay clothed. Just, well, I mean, if, if you're worried about the wind blowing. <laughs> yeah, and, take that shower with your clothes on. You know, when I go to Burning Man and I have this thing here hanging, uh -huh. it's a it's a totally different experience. You're free, you're yeah. free flowing. Everyone just day, leaves right? you alone when you're at Burning Man. Yeah. Hank. I mean, uh -huh. it's just such a cool experience. I want to see the actual footage of you at Burning uh, Man. What happens at Burning Man? stays at burning man oh, okay not not these days with the internet so <laughs> so <laughs> but yeah you do have stuff back here. so they moved everything inside winnebago mm -hmm. did a great job of moving nice all their stuff inside baby. um we're not doing inside storage at hank that's, yeah. that's when we get inside no but that's cool you can have your you, you can have your shower gel over so your <laughs> shower gel right there use gel or like a loofah uh both <laughs> I use a bar of soap, man. Uh, I on, use man. all three. Oh my lord! You know, the bar of soap goes in certain areas. The gel so goes in certain. The loofah. They, they, they Do you keep understand, all. Nick? No, I don't. I don't okay. understand. So here's where they keep all the water. They put it uh -huh. inside the coach, right? Uh, to to make this more of a four seasons coach. Yeah. Um, in Florida, we have two seasons, hot and hotter. Yes. Um, but We're in the nice season now, man. Last time I came here, was I was fainting. Yeah, it was hot. It was <laughs> yeah. hot. Um, but pretty neat. Everything is in the coach. There's no yeah. water connections outside the coach. Right. So very nice feature there. And you know, there again, this is the 59P, 19 foot long. So this can get you places that a big RV cannot get you. Yeah. This can get you in national parks. This can get you anywhere you want to go. Mm -hmm. um, what is cool about this one without the pop top is you have an air conditioner. So you have a Coleman AC uh, okay. with the, with the pop top. It doesn't come with that. Um, so if you get popped up, no AC there. That's correct. But depends on where you're at, okay. you don't need AC. Okay. I saw so many people that are not in Florida that are... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if you're out west. Out west, you yeah. know, a lot of places like that. You have yeah. fans and the engine yeah, AC and all north, that. north, like northeast. You know, but lot, lots of cool living out here. Yeah. You know, lots of cool living out here in the back, on the side. We're going to get up to the front side here in a second. Mm -hmm. But lots of cool living back here on the van. Absolutely. Um, I love I love those slide outs, man. Yeah, that's just very unique. Very a unique. lot of awesome for me. There again, cool mm -hmm. graphics package, method wheels. They do give you a propane, so you have a grill hook up here if you wanted to do. If you wanted to have like a like a separate gas grill here, mm -hmm. there is a hook up for it. And then here's the RV. Check this bad boy out. So this is that big running board that we always talk about that that is that is unique to winnebago it has all the w's all mm -hmm. over it and there again the black branding yeah. winnebago everywhere i like yeah. the outside lights whenever we see this um i know yeah. not everyone does that light yeah. outside but that's cool you're right there's one right behind you that doesn't have it really neat here something that catches my eye right away is this yeah so this this is uh some some type of fridge cover it's just unique mm -hmm. and, and this is something that comes with the uh national parks mm -hmm. package as well mm -hmm. um hey let me grab some Hang i like the there. splash of color doesn't hurt you in these vans man so, when you gotta live in there so you know something else you know we talk about living outside right so this right. is the same one from the front okay winnebago gives you a little yeah. thing right here where you can use it and hook it in Right. And you can do dishes out here. You can wash your feet before you get in wash the RV. Wash your dog off. Wash your dog. You right. can wash off Hank. You know, whatever yeah. whatever you need to do. There's no loofahs here. Do they give you a spot for loofahs right here? Um, we can hang a loofah right here for yeah, you. Yeah, you can. Hang the loofah. You can, you know. I guarantee you there's a spot somewhere in here. Somewhere in here for a loofah. <laughs> That's you can big. always find space for a loofah. Who, who uses more loofahs, you or your wife? Uh, she always changes them. I'm a dude. Those <laughs> no, things will I'll one per this, year. Yeah, more. <laughs> she has some kind of requirement; it has to change <laughs> every week. Yeah. Kind of like my my uh, toothbrush wants me to change my head out every month. Of, of the, I'm like, why would I change it? Perfect. Um, yeah. Something else that's cool, you know, we're we're, we're talking about the national park. So, that, so that's Winnebago. This is the same very very durable mm -hmm. flooring that comes with all all of the Winnebagos, but they give you this cool mat. So it's yeah, there. Cool. It's like a tweed thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very so, tough material, weatherproof. And, the, and you're talking about a pop of color. It's just something else yeah. that when you look in the coach, it's not real bland. Mm -hmm. um, and I also really like that palm tree. Check that out. So as we go in there, you guys will see. But yeah, that window treatments. Do I have to start window that again? Neck? No, you don't. Huh? So oh, check this out. So uh -huh. this is the screen. Right there. Look at that. There you go. So you zip it, and now you are fully screened. 
like this. And then if you want to leave, you just, you know, there's just so a magnetic, magnetic thing right there. Okay. Uh huh. I didn't finish zipping it, Hank. I'm lazy. But very neat. And no, then that's it, cool. I, um, and if you want it out of the way, it takes 10 seconds to just yeah. fold it up and roll it. But I'll invite everyone watching this to tell me whether they think the actual framed screens are better or these. No. People are having us remove the, the frame screens for them yeah. because they just get in the way. Yeah, this there's is a so lot of stuff fun. about the frame that's annoying to me. There are some people that make some pretty good frames. Like it's a, you know, it's got a nice slot it's in. It doesn't make a ton you know, of noise. You know, we just said you'd have to invite. I thought you were inviting people out to camp at your house. I mean, you have this cool, like, campground at your house type thing. I thought you were inviting people to go Only hang out with you. Only people I know. Only people I know. Oh. Should I tell everyone about my challenge to you? <laughs> you can tell me about yeah. whatever you want. So, oh, okay. So guess what? <laughs> that doesn't mean it's going to happen. I challenge Nick. <laughs> That me and Lola in our van, and Nick and his lovely wife Mary, in whatever van they want, they seem to have, they got a bunch of them. A few. You know, <laughs> we all go camping somewhere together, like you know, van so you and can van. Last the longest? Yeah. And Nick, no, no, just we go for a weekend. Oh. We we'll just go for a weekend. I was like, Nick is you, afraid. Can you make it? For days? <laughs> you guys can pick the place. And we'll go out there with you. We'll have a little adventure and we'll share it with the people. Does Rich Carlton have campgrounds? No, you got to stay in the van. Oh. This in is the, the van. Deal. I gotta sleep in the van. You gotta sleep oh, in the van. You gotta cook out of the van. So my we'll have a we'll princess. Have, I don't know if we'll, we'll have fun. We'll have fun. Just comment right now if you want to see me and Lola going camping with Nick and his wife in their van. Let us know right now and see yes. if we can convince him. I don't know if. I, what, what do you say? Are I'm you in. Do it? Oh, I'm in. Okay. It, it's just convincing my wife. Okay. Her birthday is this weekend, though. So that, okay. you, you know, what if I got her that for her birthday? Baby, I got you. Oh, this yeah. Camp site trip. Yeah. Do you, you do intend on actually uh, sleeping in the house. <laughs> How great is that? <laughs> but happy birthday to her. Happy yes. birthday. Yes. Yes. She's awesome. She is great. I don't know how she deals with you. I don't either, to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah. But, you know. I mean, it's not horrible yeah. all the time. I don't know how Lola deals with me either. So, this is neat. So, we got the color, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. We, we got the tweed floor. Right, right, We right. have the palm trees. Yes. You know, I, I think they did orange for Sunshine State RVs. Um, okay. they, we also have oh. this. Yeah, this so, is cool, too. So, this is like, just it's just like the Topography. little... Topography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something unique and different. Check that out. That, that That's here on this table, and it's also here in the galley, which we'll, we'll get to here in a second. Right. And I'll ho hover over this. If you guys want to use your phones, you can, you know, pop out more info about this here. So, let me, uh, you know, it's actually a little windy here in Florida, which I love. Can you believe it? This is my favorite time, man, in Florida. So, mm. that was easy, huh? Yeah. So, what's the start? Well, you know what's what? Yeah, what's the start's worth that 10 grand, man? 100%. Sorry. 100%. <laughs> so, we'll talk about chassis for two minutes. Tell okay. me when 120 seconds is up. Okay, or should we do sure. three minutes? You're, gonna, you're asking me to tell you about well, time? It's just, you know, people always Everyone ask... blames me because these videos are long. Right, <laughs> yeah. but I don't want to talk about the chassis the whole time. I want to talk about the RV. So no, anyways. but this is cool. Okay. Yeah. Push button start. There's no key. The key is for a compartment. Mm -hmm. No key. You press the button. It opens the door. So you press the ignition. It there starts. It's just like all yeah. your cars. I don't have to teach anyone how to do that. No, but this is a nice uh, redesign of so the interior. So this is the redesigned here. This is their redesigned whole deal here where yeah. it has Apple uh, CarPlay. Yeah satellite radio a bunch of different cameras and different things yeah they they changed your um your ac stuff they, they did change all of that this knob is US, i like this though i like the shifter usb and usc yep. here digital rear view mirror awesome hey what happens if we press this red button you think the uh, batman SOS? will come someone's gonna answer that somebody we don't know who yeah I somebody's won't gonna it. answer but so this is cool no, this is great so I this has this so this has like a a uh I does think, it charge your phone? This one does not. So the okay, Travato it does. It. Yeah, okay. it's, it can hold a phone. It can hold a small iPad. Yeah. But it's cool because you can just have it there, like a hands-free thing. I like the Italian, the Italian-inspired design and, of this. Now it's it's really nice. And this is all new here as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. The all the buttons, all the stuff. Yeah. So you can you know turn the cruise on here. I think this then, is worth ten grand, Nick. Like I understand if folks want to save money, but yeah, that's worth that's worth it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. I think, and these come with that laser cruise, the, uh, oh, what's it called? Adaptive cruise control. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, did, yeah. So lots of cool stuff here. Very neat. Some have bigger screens. This is one of the smaller screens. Mm -hmm. When you go up to the bigger chassis, the 3500, which is the PX and Travato, mm -hmm. that's when you get a lot more of those features. Okay. Um, on the smaller chassis, this one in the pocket, 
you, mm -hmm. you get the main ones, but you don't get them all, you know. Okay. And that's and that's kind of. I, uh, I'm noticing some things here. So here's, here's oh. the list, by the way. If you want to take a picture of that, I'll just go down this. So go down the list, and people pause. can pause it. By the way, when you're watching these videos, we put menus in here. So if you want to skip past our awesome, we have pretty cool banter. Did you do the second one? We're we're industry leading when it comes to banter. We have the best videos on all of Sunshine State <laughs> RVs. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> on all of YouTube. I'm 20,000 subscribers, Nick. Dude, you're the man. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. You I mean. are the man. So, here's another 20 little million thing. million coming up next. So this is the size of the pocket. This is the P, the one we're interested in. Oh, baby in. bear, okay. mama bear, papa bear. Okay. So you see what you get, you get a little extra a little storage bit. behind. But the, the bed's okay. the same, kitchen's the same, two seats are the same, bathroom's the same. This is the difference right there. So you see that? So do you see that versus so, that? So what other options you get? In? Just color options or So the PX does not have National Park. Okay. And the pocket does not have National Park. They decided okay. to just do the P on the National Park. Okay. So pretty yeah. cool. That's very nice. Um, there is a there is a pizza oven above you that's got some uh this has got your reflective materials in it. But while you're there I notice is uh oh this is a light. It is a light. Yeah, so that's cool. I like that. So, pretty cool though, here in the front, you have right. these two seats. Yes. So, this is very unique, Hank. Um, I know you don't have young kids anymore, but mm -hmm. what's nice when you do is that these have three-point seat belts. Yeah. You might be a grandparent here soon. Oh, please, no. Um, <laughs> Not anytime soon. Don't jinx me. <laughs> <laughs> so, very cool. I'll be happy when I become a granddad. Yes. Yeah. you would be a good granddad. So. Very cool three-point seat belts. These are like real, yeah. the real deal seat belts, right? Yeah. And these nice, look good. These nice table, seats. very comfortable armrest yeah. and everything. Nice table here. So there's one 10 plugs down below and USB ports and uh, what are these things called? Cigarette lighters? My kids uh, need 12 know. volts. My, yeah, 12 volts. Yeah. So um, there is storage under here, right? Um, there is. Oh, there you go. A tiny okay. bit. Yeah, a little bit of storage in there. Hold yeah. on. Just to show you. Oh, you can, well, yeah, then you got access. Uh, one of the things, so I think you were telling me that this is not lithium. I know that's something people are going to ask. Yeah, so the only pop top that offers lithium is Road Trek. So Red, Road Trek does their 600 amp hours of lithium batteries mm -hmm. on a Zion Slumber. Okay. Um, and, and that is a pop top on a ProMaster, sleeps for. But the Solus line, they don't offer lithium on any of They don't have it. lithium. They don't. Now, mm -hmm. we've swapped out some of the batteries for Battleborn. We're uh, big fans of Battleborn. Right. They uh, they make a great lithium battery. Mm -hmm. So we have swapped out some. Okay. But as like standard, they do not come with any Omega lithium. lithium. No. But it seems like there, there are places that you could not just swap out the battery that exists, but you could probably put a couple of extra, if you if you I feel mean, like you need it. If which you don't I'm have really. kids, you can just fill that whole area with lithium batteries if you want. That, okay, well, that's a little bit much. <laughs> yes, that's you, a little much. You, but, can, you yeah. can put lithium batteries anywhere. All you the want. amp hours. All the amp hours. Yeah, the more the merrier. Yes. <laughs> so there is solar on the roof of this okay. one. So mm -hmm. there is a couple hundred watts. Let's see if I can read it. A um, couple hundred watts of solar, I believe. Um, lots of lots of options for more solar. Winnebago is very gonna... detailed with their website uh, info on this stuff. Yeah, I, I, I just think don't if have you guys all, want to see that. And I just don't have it all memorized. That I was talking about. Um, yeah, there's, so there's two deep cycle Group 31 batteries, and there's a HUD, two, 170 watts of solar on the okay. roof. 170 watts of solar. So okay. pretty cool there. Yeah. You do have all your other stuff, your Truma systems there, your fresh tanks. You press the button, you can see where what your fresh tank is, mm -hmm. all of that. So you have storage all over the place with little lights. I like to sit here, be able to turn the light on mm -hmm. here, and turn it off here. Yeah. You know, it's like a lot of places you got to do a lot of different things, mm -hmm. but you know, that's just, I like this little simple. sitting area. Here. Yeah, I no, mean, for this me, is great. For me, what I do, I'm always looking to see if there's like a little office nook yeah. kind of thing in there. I could set up a computer. I could do my podcast, do a show from there. Just go live. Right. Yeah. So uh, I love stuff like this when you, when you have this kind of seating available. Not everyone does that. And this so. is flexible. You don't need this if this is in your way. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so let's what's, walk. What's in that cabinet? Oh, uh, that's a secret tank. Okay. <laughs> We've well, got so a max fan here and nothing. cabinet for storage. Oh, I like how they hold them up. Look at that. Oh, there you go. You don't count on hinges. You don't count on anything else except the magnetic force. Yeah. 
metal there, metal there, and it just, just keep it, it open if yep. you need it to. And so, what purpose does this serve? It stops things from flowing out of the of the thing. You so know, if you've you got it. stuff in there, okay, go. Yep. Yeah. That's so nice. Very little, neat. Little carpeted section. Check out the W. 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 I don't know if that's a bottle opener, like a coat hanger. I don't know. So yeah. nice, good sized bathroom, which is very, yeah, very important. So not. You know, even though it's not a plumbed bathroom, there still is a bathroom you can shower in. Yeah, it's perfect. You've got a toilet. So you got this here to hang stuff up to dry when you're not using the bathroom. Yeah. You'd have a handheld shower, and it is plumbed. The shower is. There's the a shower. gray tank. Okay. So when you do take a shower, the water drains out to the gray tank. You're yeah. hot and cold. But then you do have your toilet here. This is a cassette toilet. So yeah. you sit That's here. Got some room in there. Can you close it? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. You're all in there. 100%. And then there's a mirror on there. On the a phone. mirror? Mirror. 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 Go ahead, say it. Mirror. You said mirror? Mirror. Mirror? Yes. Mirror. Oh, it's not mirror. <laughs> I didn't say that, but it's yeah, a mirror. mirror. Yeah, mirror. Oh my god. You gotta roll your R's. So, come on, you should have learned you that. You can line now. up your loofahs right here. You have all different colors and shapes and sizes. No, this is not bad. You know, so we were talking about Overland. Uh, one of the things I noticed, Nick, a lot of those Overland van builds do not have bathrooms or toilets. <laughs> so you can so put, this is, you can I, put, people need, like, I know I need that. You can put Lola, have. Lola's loofahs in here. You can put yours yeah, on Yeah, she there. does have her own special stuff. So there you Lola go. has all her special, she has special. This ain't bad rooms. at all, I gotta tell you, you know. If no. you needed a fifth person to sit and drive, you can just sit right here and just drive like this. Right. There's no see me you hold this for, like, safety. Yeah. No, that's not actual advice. Oh. So there you go. But no, that is a lot of room, and I like it. I I appreciate uh, I appreciate having the uh, the bathroom in these things. I know there's reasons why some of the people that go to national parks they go overlanding. They don't have it. I'm one of those dudes that must have it. Yes, I hear. So it. check it out. This also. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's good. Yeah. I just you know you can't say enough about the uh, about the window treatments. The window treatments are very necessary in these vans, in my opinion. My personal humble opinion. So the countertop has that same graphic that the front table, the galley table, what do you call that? The passenger table? Yeah, is this, um, Office is this table? a lagoon table? Is it one of it's not lagoon, it's fagoon. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's one of the fake But it lagoons. does have the same pattern. Yes. Carries out. Uh, one cool thing that Winnebago does is they, they give you a lot of information at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. So this QR code gets you to the Solus app, and the app has 50 videos on it and how-tos on everything. Let me see if I can. There you go. Right. Mm -hmm. Everything on Solus. So two burner gas stove, nice little extension here. Why it's not opening. Okay. So you're cooking. I like to make ham and cheese sandwiches. Right. You know, right. I put Gouda cheese on a sandwich the other day. That was pretty good. Gouda was good? I usually use American cheese. Okay. So nice, nice sandwich maker spot, you know, extension of the kitchen right here. Pretty mm -hmm. neat. So that's cool. That is. As you're rolling. And then that locks in so it doesn't move around. It does lock in. Mm -hmm. As you're rolling through here, good size drawer, cabinet down here, cabinet it's here. Mm-hmm. So they make all this really light, so that way you have lots of cargo carrying capacity on mm -hmm. board. You know, you can put so much weight. So this is the hot water. Too. Oh, okay. So it's pretty neat. You turn this and, and it preheats the water. So that way, when you're ready to use it, you just turn it on. Oh, I see. You know, okay. a so lot you don't of have times, to run it and waste it. No, my son, he turns the shower on and lets it run for 20 minutes before he gets in it because he's all worried it's going to be cold. And I'm like, dude, you just empty. I have that same problem with kids. It's so annoying. Yeah. They just turn yeah. it on, and they're pl he's playing his guitar, hanging out, and yeah, then man. the shower's on. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Mine are 20 something years old, and they're and still doing that. So good luck to you. Mine's 16. Yeah. Well, you got you got six more years. At least. The 11 year old copies everything. They need to pay their own water bills, and <laughs> yeah. then they will stop that. Pay anything. Yeah. <laughs> so more of these. What'd you call these things? Uh, Lulu. No, these are like uh, these are like Molly. Lulu. Yeah, these are like it's like a Molly panel that you can strap stuff on it. It's a nice little basket. Yeah, yeah. Good there. Same thing Molly. here. It's a Molly. It's from military. Oh, same thing there. Cool. And then all your packets and stuff. Yeah. Nice, nice, good sign. It. You know what it does when you open this like this? It stops things from falling out on you. Mm -hmm. You know, so very nice. Yeah. If something shifted, it's not gonna come. And I like this look. It's like you know, this like stainless. It's not steel, but it just mm -hmm. has that. 
that cool look to it. Sink, hot water and cold water, USB ports, 12 volt and 110. So anything you need, they give you. You know, there's yeah. there's not a lot of stuff that you need that they don't Some give you. Nice little storage here once again. Yeah. And actually this comes out and you can move it up and down depending on how you want to use it. Oh. Moved it. So right. yeah. this is that bed I was talking about. So this is the Luno bed, L-U-N-O. And this bed comes from Winnebago. Mm -hmm. It is made specifically to fit on the front two seats mm -hmm. um, to where you have another sleeping situation. Pull the so, plastic out for a second. Uh, just, just a little bit. I know whoever's going to get this yes, doesn't want it. They do not but want yeah, it. But yeah, it comes in a nice bag. It's in yes. a nice bag. So that's inflatable. So this is inflatable. Mm -hmm. And and it goes on the on the bed area. Um, what's So what's neat is that turns this van from mm -hmm. a two-person sleeper to a three-person sleeper. To where you don't need the pop top but if you want to go with a pop top you can now sleep five one in the front two here and two up top so mm. totally depends on we'll move this out of the way right yeah I'm gonna what give you some want room. so now we're in the back area so right. a few things that you can do here that is very neat is a you can put bikes here and strap them down mm -hmm. you can put a dirt bike you can put uh scooters kayak fishing poles people put all whatever types. you want if you've got a bunch of luggage you could put luggage. it back here if you go shopping <laughs> you know you go to the supermarket that is true dual purpose is important man lots of different purposes yeah. so after i go to the supermarket with lola i need to take a break I need to... when i get back to the vehicle so i like using my van to do that why don't you take a solace you know boom that was easy that so, was really easy for you to do the bed isn't that cool yeah so like I always say, six feet, 237 pounds, uh -huh. and that fit perfect. Yeah. No, there's lots of room here. And lot, that was there's room in my head. I mean, lots of room in my head, there's room in my feet. Mm -hmm. and, and it took five seconds to lay the bed down. I mean, I mean yeah. do a thing. And then look how much storage is underneath still. So yeah. you can take your bike apart. You can leave stuff underneath there. You know, some people put litter boxes. Their dog sleeps underneath there. Mm -hmm. You know, I put yeah. my kids under there. Um, it's in my face. So lots yeah. of cool things you can do with a bed this size. Like I said a minute ago, when you're going from a P to a PX, this is the exact same. Okay. The bathroom's the exact same, the kitchen's the same, the front. What you get extra on the PX is from the end of that bed, you get like two more feet. A couple, okay. Two more feet past this bed is what you get. And they make the PX with the pop top and without. But in this one here, it just stops at the at the okay. door. So this is a 19 foot, you know, nine inch, I think. Do you want to show us the storage here? We've got right, I can't. Yeah. It just yeah. opens and, and it just stops. Oh, here's our curtain I was going to open up. Oh, <laughs> couldn't find it. Yeah, everything's so in here. Storage there. We got yep. storage here. There yeah. you go. And then still more. So this is stuff. for what what you use. Sleep machine. Your. Uh, Darth Vader machine. Yep, yep. So you put it up here, plug it in, 110, all that, you're good. There's also a roof access port. So what we've been doing is in installing those 5G routers I was telling you about, mm -hmm. installing them in here, using the roof access, putting putting the antenna on the roof and putting uh -huh. the router in here, and you have 5G internet in the, everywhere you go. Oh, okay, cool. It's so fast. It's yeah, I gotta so good. try this out one day. Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah. It is great. But most RVs now are coming with these roof access ports. We're not having to drill holes and all that. So your AC is back here, like you so said. The, it's right so there over, is an right AC here. Is this, this? Do you have to control it manually from there, or can you control it from up front? It right has here. to be there, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. You just press the button. So when you're sleeping, if it's get too cold or hot, you can do it. And this also has a heater as well. Okay. So your heat and AC is right here. Okay. Cool. Let me just get. Coleman, to look at Ma, Coleman. This is the quiet. This is the NDQ. Okay. It's a nice, nice air conditioner cool. there. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So there we go. So now to fold it up, it's just as easy. There we go. I don't want to catch the screen here. That's the only tricky part. There we go. Jeez. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I won't leave that in. <laughs> there we go. Cool. So now. So this, the bed, I like these beds that have the slats on yeah. it so that it can breathe. That's on both yep. sides, obviously. Yep. Even yep. right both here sides. your city. And then you have that. big pocket here, big pocket there, small pocket right here. Mm -hmm. So that there's storage. storage. So those um, storage oh, here. Cool. And this is where, you know, I, I told you earlier about the lithium battery. Yeah, there is a we lot of space right here. able to put a lithium battery in here for somebody. Oh, yeah, I think you can get some, yeah, that's that's pretty good. You can get and some, then, uh, And then these, actually, space. you can access them 
from here as well. Yeah, so that's you, cool. So you can access it from outside when you when you slide out, or you can access mm -hmm. it from here. So I really like these slide outs, man. I I love that kind of stuff. You know, the more very, storage you have, the better. Very unique and like hand gloves. These window things yes. just go right up. Please, other companies do some window yep. treatment. Yeah, that one's already up. Yeah, we'll. Uh, there you go. These are awesome. This area here is not quite six foot. That's why I'm not able to stand. Yeah. As I walk <laughs> off the pad, they were. Uh, no, I can stand. <laughs> well, because there's a little bit. You know, you do yeah. lose a little bit of yeah. the floor but space here, for that storage. You know, so. uh, six three, six four inside of here. Yeah. But what's cool is that the national park is very tough looking outside, right? Mm -hmm. Gives you capacity. They do a sumo springs. So, you know, part of the national park is also the uh, sumo springs. So they, they give you this uh, special graphics, performance black stylized performance wheels with a factory installed sumo spring suspension upgrades and improves the ride yeah. and the comfort, which is great. Smart space overland drawer system. Oh, uh, love that. That's a good keyword right now, the overland. Yes. Everyone's using that word. Yes, absolutely. Overland, Over overland east, overland west, overland north, yeah. south. You guys should overland come with me to an overland. That'd be great. We're we'll change our name to Sunshine Mary. State Overland oh. RVs. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> You're you know, getting into that. You're you're edgy. I, you know, people like it. People ask us mm -hmm. all the time about it. But what people truly want is mm -hmm. a normal van inside mm -hmm. and the Overland van outside. Yeah. And Winnebago's done that with this. American Coach has done that with their mm -hmm. Beast, where it's, it's like the Ritz Carlton on the inside and the 4x4 and really cool stuff on the mm -hmm. outside. Um, and then, you know, some other brands have done it as well. Mm -hmm. But people want a, no a very comfortable, functional van on the inside with lithium and all that. And then on the outside, they want it to look like... They're going to spend time in the Abu Dhabi de desert. Absolutely. Let's go outside and wrap this up. Perfect. All right, Nick. So I think we gave folks a lot of details for something. This, this is not a super big van. No, I mean, it's 19 foot it. long. Yeah. I think we went through the whole thing and showed yeah. them how it can be used off-road, how it can be used at a campground, at a national park, depending mm -hmm. on how everybody wants to use it. Everyone's going to use these so, so different. And so mm -hmm. there's a lot of different ways you can use it and that's one of the great things about a national park it can be your everyday car mm -hmm. because the size of it and the seat belts and, it, and yeah. how how easy it is to drive and turn but it can also you can go live in it and yeah camp in it for a month or two months whatever you want so yeah. it's pretty awesome yeah and i think for price point obviously you don't talk about the prices here because you know that's fluctuating change it's kind of like the stock market or oil yeah. or gas this, is, every this day. has got a good price point though it does it does a very a good, great a great get, price point they can yeah. call us mm -hmm. and then we can help them out price wise you know we give big discounts we deliver for free anywhere in the country okay so we anywhere people live in the whole united states we will deliver this for free to their house right right, um, right. if you do live local we guarantee service appointments within five days free tech support mm -hmm. you know put you up at a campground teach you how to use it so right. lots of cool perks about buying from Sunshine yeah. what's State that club RV what's that club that I'm the president of so we started the club a month <laughs> after Hank bought his RV <laughs> yeah. and I feel so bad for Hank that he no. didn't get in the club I'm yet. in the club it's the Sunshine State Elite Club I'll, or Sunshine Elite Club you ever heard of 50 Cent <laughs> In the club. In the club. In I'm the club. in the club. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, so we have a lot of details. Just call these guys up or come down here and check it out. This is really cool. I've seen it before, but even looking at it again yeah. with you where there's not a bunch of people around and we can actually get into it, I really think this is a really cool van. And for the folks out there that are looking for something like this, great like entry point in terms of price and, and all the stuff you get with it. Yeah, I agree. My favorite thing is those... Uh, the, what is it? Overland drawers, right? Overland, Overland drawers. drawers. Yes. Can't beat that. That or the or the or the covers on the windows. Yes. Please put the window coverings in the van when you build the van. So I don't know how many builders watch our videos. <laughs> a couple. There's a couple. I'm I'm talking to you. All right. So listen, we're out of here. Thanks, Nick. Yes, sir. It's fun. We haven't done this in a little while, but you know we're back at it. And like I said, if you guys want to see me at the Overland East, it's going to be October 7th to the 9th in Arrington, Virginia. So uh, go down there. And I think on, let me see, on Saturday at 1.30, I'll be at the Battleborn booth. So we can talk about my upgrade. We're out. Peace. Guys, I want to remind you that we have these Vanasaur t-shirts and a new one is out. This is Campfire by Moonlight. New Vanasaur t-shirt, that's how you pronounce that if you're a fan of Class B camper vans, whether it's Sprinter, Promaster, or the Transit. You can get these t-shirts, show your love for that, and support Stranger Palooza. And we don't have any like logos or anything like that on it. Plus, you can get 
Stranger Palooza t-shirts. If you look down here in YouTube, there's a store down there. You could check out the store, get this and other designs. And from Lola and myself, who did all the work designing this, uh, thanks very much. See you on the next one.